Hello everyone, this is Pop Potsy here, and today we have the Alpha Build 2 of Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.10.0. So, most of you have probably been waiting for this because there's quite a few weird issues in the last version, as most of you probably remember. Um, so, we're going to go through those right now. We've got a bunch of bug fixes, a bunch of tweaks. I'll even post a change log below to make sure you guys can read in case you are deaf and cannot hear me. So, we're going to play... And new, and we'll just make a new world because we're just cool. And that's the only reason. All right, so first of all, the nice one, the my one of my favorites about this fix, not to be stupid, but it's the uh, split touch controls. So now the crosshair supposedly works. Look at that. It actually works, you guys. The crosshair is showing up on my bloody screen. That is absolutely incredible. That is something I never thought I would see again. I never thought I'd be so excited to see it again either. That's... This is a good day. This is a good day. All right, so. Also, along with that part anyway, would also be the bow. Apparently, the crosshair was all jacked up globally across the game. So now you can actually use your bow and be able to see where it's shooting. So, you know, that, that can be helpful at times when, you, when you're actually trying to hit something. You know, it's, it's sometimes nice to see where you're going to hit. So that's a great thing to have. Now, the next one. Fixed a lot of graphical issues when using Fancy on some older CPUs or GPUs as they would word it. So your graphical uh, processing unit, which graphics processors in phones and tablets have been developing quite quickly. Um, it gave some examples of a Power VR SGX35, blah, blah, blah. I don't even know what those are, but you probably, you can look at this. You know, since I'm going to post the description down there anyway, the whole change log. You know, if you want to check out your own phone and see if it was applicable, you go ahead and do that. But I'm not going to read them all off because most of these phones, I don't even know what they are because they're so old. So, fix the crash when rendering minecarts, which I'm sure many of you remember some of the weird minecart glitches that were repaired and put into the build 2. Now, the next one. Fixed a random crash when starting some worlds. You know, I don't think I even really experienced this, but I know that other people did because I did read some things, some tweets and stuff like that. And some people were having some complications starting worlds, which is frustrating. So I'm glad that they got that sorted out for us in the build two. Sometimes it can take, you know, seven builds to get certain things repaired, which I'm not saying that's, you know, their problem. I'm just, I'm just saying it's really nice when some of these uh, more major issues get fixed quickly. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, it fixed a crash when emitting particles. Now particles, that they could be with anything. Particles are anywhere. So. If you go like this and break that, those particles. See those things that come out, those little chunks, those are called particles. So, particles are everywhere. I don't know what particles it's referring to. I don't know if it's referring to particles overall or something else specific. It doesn't really say. But, you know, it could even be shooting a bow. I mean, bows have particles fly off of them to, to give more of the feel that it's moving through the wind quickly. So, I don't know specifically. But it doesn't really talk about that. But it doesn't matter because now that it's fixed, none of the particles should be causing any problems. They fixed a disappearing GUI and weird mob bodies when having certain items on screen. So, uh, the GUI was having some glitches. I don't know if you guys ever had that happen. I actually did. The whole bloody thing, like, disappeared. Yeah, I don't even know. It was, it was, <laughs> it was quite confusing. I don't even, I, I was like, what is happening here? My whole, my whole thing is gone. Like, it's just a screen now. It, it was weird. But anyway, but I, I, I don't even remember how I got that fixed. I probably just killed the app or something. But it's fixed, so that's great. All right, they fixed missing sides on slabs, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go through some of these faster so we don't have to make this video like a half hour long because that will kill some of you I know. So I'll just read through them. Oh my phone! Are you serious? Oh no! It's my mother. She's gonna have to wait. No, please. Just be... okay. I push. It's okay. I'll, I'll call her back. We're gonna finish this. <laughs> okay. Fixed signs at text showing through walls so if you have a sign for example right here it might show up all the way through the grass a bunch which is quite obnoxious so they did fix that so the words will no longer be ghosting around the world they fixed some items having an incorrect lighting so that's nice because you know they, they've really cleaned up the lighting this that was part of the point of 0 0.10.0 so it's good to know that they're fixing some of those things making it a little more polished um fixed item blinking white when next to a blinking TNT. So I guess some items would blink. If you were to have it, if this was to be a TNT block, obviously it's stone, but then you had an item maybe laying right here, it might be blinking with the TNT, which is kind of odd. So they did fix that though. They fixed black lines on torches, um, mushrooms appearing in deserts at night. I don't even know what 
in the world. That was about um, fixed mine shafts spawning a ton of wooden platforms if discovered at night. So apparently, discovering a mine shaft, depending on what time of day, uh, it would it would generate differently. I don't know. Like, uh, it's kind of weird, but I guess if you discovered at night, it had a ton more wood. So that's kind of interesting. But that's been fixed. So that is not a problem anymore. Um, oh, she's texting me now. Great. I'm just trying to do something here, mum. Okay, I'll call you back. I really will, you know. All right. <laughs> the next thing would be items no longer push you in falling. Um, they fixed. Also, arrows getting stuck on non-solid blocks. So that's nice because like this, for example, is not a solid block and that would be weird if an arrow was stuck in there somehow. Um, they also fix moose shrooms. Moose shrooms now consume bowls and milk. So, yeah, they're not really milked, of course. They're more like mushroomed or mushroomed or souped. I don't know. Well, okay, that could just be weird. <laughs> so just forget it. They're, they're milked with, with quotation marks. How about that? <laughs> um, fix the possible crash when falling under the world, which, you know, again, really makes no sense. I don't know which one of you people found this, but why are you going down to see Hades? I mean, I just don't get it. Like, what's so exciting about seeing... You know, these darkest places. Why are you going down there? Under the world? That just doesn't seem like a good idea to me. But the world, of course, crashes because because Hades doesn't like that. So Hades stops the game if you go down there to see him. I'm sorry if your friend died. I'm sorry if you killed yourself. He's not going to help you. He's not going to bring you back, okay? He's going to enslave you for a thousand years. All right. So the next part would be fixed damage bars and inventories. So, you know... If, damage bars. Uh, I can't really show you because I'm in creative mode, but for example, if this was survival mode and I had a sword and it had damage, it might not show up in this inventory screen, but it does show up on this bar. So now that's fixed though. It's completely fixed, so it should be okay. Water in dark places doesn't have bright borders anymore, which you know only makes sense considering it's a dark area. Um, bed undersides now have the correct texture. I didn't even notice that they had the wrong one, so <laughs> that's news to me, but it will work now. Um, fixed colors of vines. Uh, baby animals are now able to swim without sinking. That is great news because I don't really want them drowning. Um, what's the next? They fixed weird water colors when placing blocks on deep water. So, um, if you were in deep water and you were placing blocks like this, you know, the colors would get screwy. I don't know. I don't know exactly what was happening. I don't know if it was a biome confusion or something else, but something was actually screwed up about that. So that's basically all the bug fixes. There might be a couple of more minor ones. Um, you guys can look at in the change log below. I just want to hurry up because I don't, not because I, not because I don't want to talk about it and show you guys, but because I don't want to spend the whole, you know, make you watch a video for 30 minutes about bug fixes. Like that's just going to annoy you guys. So we're going to make this quick. Um, tweaks added smooth lighting back on leaves. So they were taken off, put back in the build too. They added smoother depth transitions between swamps and normal water. So what that would really mean is um, if you have a swamp biome next to a normal biome with normal water, of course, um, the transition, it looks much more smooth as you get between the two. The water colors mix in a little bit more, kind of like they would naturally. Um, oh, it's just, it's just barely turning night. We didn't even spend a whole day, basically. That's great. We didn't actually spend that long. Not too bad. Um... And the round fog is now actually round, <laughs> so that's kind of funny how they how they did that. Um, the, <laughs> the the fog wasn't actually round; it was it was um, it wasn't it, it didn't even make sense. So now that it's round, oh my goodness, are you serious? They're just gonna keep calling me until I answer. You know, usually I cut that out of the video if I call me, but today, no. You guys get to hear the fullness of these interruptions. <laughs> um, also, last thing, no bugs. Turning on fancy graphics when they were off the first time. The game was started causes graphical errors so that one is known so you don't need to report that anymore if you experience that because they are, are very aware and they are working hard and quickly to solve that bug so that shouldn't be much longer i wouldn't even be surprised if it was you know build three it might, might be a little bit later than that possibly but they've really cleaned up and polished the whole bloody thing of 0.10.0 .0 with build two so it feels much more solid much more fun to play so there you go, guys. That would be change log for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was informative for you. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I would be so surprised if you haven't because this is the best channel ever. But yeah, I'll see, you. I'll see you guys in the next video. 
Later today, in fact, I have a couple on the way. One's even about jailbreaking, but the other one will be Minecraft Pocket Edition related. So thanks again, and I will see you guys in a few hours for more awesomeness.